Hello and welcome to the second episode of my studio tour. Uh, if you missed the first episode, you can watch it on this channel. It's just a uh, previous video. Uh, this was a Patreon or Patreon exclusive video. I made it like in July or something like that. I, I, I really forgot. And uh, since it's uh, time to share and it's a <laughs> time of sharing and caring, I... Uh, I decided that I should probably share this video too. So, before we start the video, I gotta thank my patrons. Uh, thank you guys, you are awesome, and thank you for supporting the channel, and thank you for all the donations and all the love. If you wanna become a patron, uh, you can do it by clicking on the link in the info section of this video on my YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, let me just roll the intro and let's play the video. Hello, my name is Grumpy. So let me show you my guitars and uh, yeah. All right, let's start out with this guitar. This is a Gibson G45 uh, special uh, that like passenger plays that. And it's fucking amazing. It just like if it it, 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 only, it just sits in every mix. So basically, I'm just gonna like pan through all the guitars like this. So this one is the Comanche, uh, the GNL. Uh, GNL is um, Leo Fender. When he left Fender, he made a new company. Uh, first one was called Music Man. The other one was called GNL. And this is like the Fenders that are updated, pretty much. Uh, all right, so this one it is a heritage like both of them are heritages and it's a weird one because like heritage uh, It's a it's more of a Gibson than Gibson is right now because actually when uh, this is like a 335 and the other one is a Les Paul Which is gonna I'm gonna try and like yeah, you see it like it's a 335. It's like a BB King's guitar But he just covered the holes. So the thing is like when Gibson uh, started making a lot of guitars, they made a new, uh, whatever the fuck it's called, like uh, uh, industry complex, and the original guitar makers just stayed uh, in Wichita, I think, or something like that. Wherever the fuck, the, no, it's in some, somewhere in Cali, but, but I, I, I forgot the place. And they just bought the company or the shop and uh, continued making the same guitars as they did for like 50 or 60 years, and just, uh, yeah, it's better than the Gibson. We actually like compared it here with like a bunch of custom shout Gibsons and they're just better. This one is, it's just a Japanese Fender. The one here is a Iban Ibanez. Eh. This one is a, a Wood Gorilla. It's actually a friend of mine. And you're gonna see a bunch of guitars uh, that are made, uh, made uh, for me or uh, from my friends. Uh, it is a bass, it's a P bass, a precision bass, a five string. I love it, it sounds amazing. Uh, this one in the back, it is an Ibanez, but it is a George Benson signature. It, I love this guitar, I mean, come on, George Benson is fucking God, dude. This one is an Eastman. That is pretty much a Gibson 175, but without a price mark or the, the, the price tag like of the 175 because uh, it costs like something like I don't know 7,000 to, to get and it's just too much dude uh, that's the that's the guitar that I played in the um, intro of the video this one I'm gonna show you but uh, there is a better one it's an Ibanez AZ I have another one and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you that this one is a Fender John Mayer signature it's amazing. I love John Mayer. I want to suck him off. No, I don't. But maybe. Why not? When the fuck was that? Uh, so this is the Ibanez AZ. This is the HH version with like two humbuckers. Uh, the other one that I have is the HSS with two singles and one humbucker. Uh, this one, I don't know what the fuck this is. Who the fuck? Oh, this is the Ibanez. Okay, I'll show you this this one already. Let me see. So this one is gonna be. One of the guitars that I ordered from America is, of course, the GNL. Uh, it is the GNL Legacy, and it has like all the good stuff. Like the tone pots are actually uh, EQs, 
or filters, whatever you want to fucking call them, they're not just filtering out, they're boosting or cutting the bass, but it's not like the usual uh, tone controls. So yeah, after that we have a bunch of more guitars, but I'm just gonna show you whatever the fuck this is. This is the snare that I'm using. Uh, where the f oh, there it is. Yep, th that's the snare. Okay, let's continue with the gu guitars. Right, this is one of the guitars that was made for me. Uh, with a gorilla, still my 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 guy from here in Serbia. Uh, this one, it is a Fodera uh, copy. Uh, 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 what's it called? The fretless bass. Uh, it's made for me by my friend Nimčević, Steva Nimčević, Nimčević basses. Uh, this one is of course the same thing, but a six string and with frets. They are just fucking glorious and amazing. You're gonna see me playing those in the next videos, I guess. This one is the same thing, but a five string with like different pickups. This one is a fretless from uh, Wood Gorilla. Uh, I don't even fucking know if you can see him. All right, and this one, it is a hidden gem. It is, of course, a Hofner uh, Beatles bass. If you ever seen Paul McCartney from the Beatles play a bass, it's gonna be either this or a double bass. But he mostly plays this. All right, so here we have a Greek bouzouki, and here we have a a symbol, I guess. This is a, a Turkish darabuka or a darbuka, I guess you guys call it. And uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. I have, of course, the hi-hat that I play for almost all my songs. Uh, so let's let's check the other guitars. Uh, right here, it's a uh, Yamaha or Yamaha 12 string. Eh, it's okay, it's fine. So on my walls here, we have a Fender a Special uh, 3 humbucker Sferocaster, a Gibson fucking whatever it's called, the, the, the Les Paul Jr and a Dan Electro, uh, which I fucking adore, cause it's like, I mean, Mark Knopfler from Dire Straits plays this, so you gotta have this if you're a fucking guitarist or guitarist. Uh, down there we have basses, Fender P bass, four string, Yamaha six string, whatever. Yamaha um, six string, um, Fretless bass, a music man, five string uh, stingray. All right, so this one, this is my first guitar. You can see by, by all the scars, it is really like relics, I guess. It is really scarred. I love this thing, like it's amazing. It, it is, it, it really is. Uh, the guitar on the, it's actually made by uh, a guy here in Belgrade. Uh, this one is also made, it's my second guitar, it has like um, David Gilmer uh, pickups in it and EMGs. These ones are, are like the um, Steve, whatever his name is, from uh, Toto. Steve, well, I, I, I just haven't slept enough, so I, I, I apologize. Steve, I love you, I love your music, but I can't fucking I, 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 I'll, I'll remember. This one is a Dan Electro. It has uh, like lipstick pickups that like um, Steve Ray Wan had uh, on few occasions on some concerts. Uh, they are fucking amazing. Uh, this is a, like a Telecaster, like a pretty much basic Telecaster. It's a Baja Telecaster. It has a switch on it and that's it. And this is the same shit, but with um, humbuckers. And then, yes, we have more. And then we go to this room, which is not finished yet. But in this room, you can see my... Yeah, and you can see my... Yeah. Uh, I have a bunch of more guitars. I'm just not gonna pull them all out. These were just like here. I have an Irish Buzuki. I have a sitar or... Saz, well, some people call it sitar, it's actually, it's actually Saz. Um, I have like an uh, Arabic oud or oud or whatever the pronunciation in, in English is. And uh, yeah, a lot of, lot of, lot of stuff. A uh, bunch of like Serbian traditional instruments, uh, saxophone, a bunch of uh, uh, flutes and yeah, like 
accordions and all that fucking good stuff. I also have the rotor toms. Here we have my microphones. You don't really care about the microphones and they're, they're just not interesting, uh, but they're really good. And some like African instruments. Uh, yeah, yeah. Bunch of shit. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a hardcore musician. I'm a fucking... Yeah, I'm a hardcore musician. These are my guitars behind me. Oh, shit. Uh, so, yeah. So, here I have a rack. I'm gonna show you my rack that is currently not hooked up to the PC. Because I'm still waiting for my table uh, to be switched out so I can have, like, more uh, uh, space. But, basically, this is my rack. One of those. So, yeah, Foreman, that's for, for power. This is, the, this is amazing. It's a master bus compressor. Uh, two distressors, because you, you gotta have those. Um, two 1176s. Uh, yeah, TBX 160A. Um, one more 1176. I'm just gonna use it for vocals. A bunch of like reverbs. Uh, clock, and that's pretty much it, like a preamp, and that's pretty much it. So let's go back to the studio. I don't know if I clicked anything, but let's go back to the studio. So we're back in the studio, and I'm gonna show you my rack in the studio here. These are just like some of my microphones that I cover because I'm smoking a lot. Uh, basically, this is the SSL, it's an SSL Delta. So uh, if you guys don't know what it is, it's a summing box, it's pretty much a mixer but I just use it for the uh, summing because I'm doing everything pretty much uh, in my DAW. Uh, on top of it is an SSL G compressor uh, from the Mix series. You have the Orion HD, two of them, uh, 30, so 64 channels. And I have another one with like 64 channels that I, that, that I just need to hook, hook up. Um, everything is like running through uh, the RMA ADI Pro, and I, I guess you spell it like like that. Uh, but all of this is connected through to Muddy, so uh, to the um, RMA Muddy Face uh, XD. Oh, dude, I'm struggling with English right now. Um, API preamps, Motu. Uh, that, uh, that's why the fucking MIDI is not working. Cause yeah, th this shit never fucking works. A bunch of preamps, uh, like four of those are made here in Serbia by a guy that's fucking amazing. The Red series uh, from Focusrite, uh, <laughs> two more 1176s, and the Great River, uh, Great R River, Great River, yeah, there we go. Preamps, uh, SPL D DS, uh, they're fucking amazing because. Uh, if you know how the S-ing works, this doesn't work like that. It just like puts the S's or the higher frequencies uh, after they hit the threshold. It like flips the phase uh, and th they don't make these anymore for some fucking reason, but they're fucking awesome. The TDX, uh, what's the focus? Yeah, there we go. That's the focus distance. The TDX is just for like uh, um, transients and shit. And the uh, harmonic exciter, or however you want to call it, it's basically a tape machine simulator. It has like a tape um, head inside of it, and it reads uh, from the tape uh, writing head. So, yeah, it's it's fucking amazing, and I use it on all of my mixes. Let's go to the monitors or speakers. These are currently my main speakers, the Focals. Um, 3011BE, of course I, ha I have to have a NS10 on top. Um, Oraton or Amaton, whatever. And these are like my 12-year-old Quested speakers that are pretty good, but I rarely use them. I just use them like for checking some mixes. Of course, I'm, I'm using the Cubase. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, I have another, uh, what's it called? Monitor here so I can actually see like my phases and shit. There we go. The universe far, far from being complete. Yeah, so that, that's, that's, that's pretty much it. You can see that shit there. All right guys, so that's pretty much it for the day. Um, I'm go I, I just wanted to show you like around so you uh, know some of my, I just didn't show you everything. Cause I, I mean, it's it's really like I gotta open the boxes, I gotta take them out, I gotta 
uh, take some things into the boxes and it's just, it's just fucking tiring. So yeah, I have a bunch of more uh, instruments and shit. But uh, yeah, like basically that's it for today. I'm gonna show you in the next video how I did some of my songs for the YouTube channel. Or if you want to, I can uh, show you how I did some of my songs for my albums. You probably don't want to watch that because you don't even fucking understand my uh, language. So yeah, but uh, yeah, that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to bring a towel when you're traveling through space. If you didn't catch my amazing t-shirt, but yeah, don't forget to bring a towel when you're traveling through space. And ta ta da da ta. This is my studio, and thank you, and subscribe, and all of that good stuff. I'm not a YouTuber, so I I, oh, I just fucking hate when I say that I'm a YouTuber. But yeah, thank you. Bye. Mwah.